and we're going to have a look at the run object. Now I don't have a run object on this page so we're going to clone this. Uh, change some values here and then pick a form that this will go to because we're going to set it up as a button so by clicking the button we'll go to this form. Alright so there we have our form and as you can see it's added itself also to the breadcrumb up the top. Alright so that's if we use it as a button. But we can also use this run object as an iframe. So it's nearly like having new builder inside new builder. Alright, so refresh that. And we'll see we've got a list of quotes there. It's created its own breadcrumb as well by doing that inside the iframe. Now there are some other options that we can look at. Um, we could also filter or we could put a record ID in there. Now putting a record ID there would actually hard code what we got back. But here we're going to just filter out on the word kid. Um, and the other way to use this is with a hash cookie. So in the filter I could type hash record ID hash. So that's how we can see a form, but a run object can also display a report or even something from a procedure. In this case we'll just add a, change it to look at a report. We've got the PDF there inside our edit form. So that's the run object.